Saint Gregory, known to history as Gregory the Great, stands as a monumental figure in the tapestry of the church, not merely for the titles he bore, but for the profound impact of his actions and teachings. Born into a prominent Roman family, Gregory's early life was marked by privilege and responsibility. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Before reaching the age of 30, he had already ascended to the prestigious position of Prefect of Rome, the highest civil office in the city. Yet, Gregory's journey was not one of simple ambition but of a deep, transformative calling. After five years of managing the civic affairs of Rome, Gregory made a startling decision that would define the rest of his life. He resigned from his office, turned away from worldly power, and dedicated his wealth and resources to God. On his Sicilian estate, he founded six monasteries, places of quiet contemplation and rigorous devotion. He even converted his own Roman home into a Benedictine monastery, where he joined the monks in their austere life, seeking spiritual peace and divine wisdom. It was during these years as a monk that Gregory's true vocation was revealed. His life took another turn when he was ordained a priest and became one of the seven deacons of Rome. Gregory's reputation for holiness and administrative skill grew, leading him to serve as the papal representative in Constantinople. His reform of the liturgy and his strengthening of doctrinal respect helped to unify the church in a time of great uncertainty. Although the extent of his involvement in the development of the Gregorian chant is debated, his influence on the church's worship practices is undeniable. Gregory lived in an era of constant strife, with Rome under threat from the Lombards and facing complex relations with the Eastern Church. Yet, even in the midst of such turmoil, Gregory's leadership provided stability and direction. His boldness is perhaps best illustrated by his decision to personally negotiate with the Lombard king when Rome was under siege, a testament to his courage and deep sense of responsibility. Gregory's legacy is immortalized in his writings, particularly his book, Pastoral Care, which outlined the duties and qualities of a bishop. In it, he described bishops as physicians of the soul, tasked with preaching and enforcing discipline, a concept that resonates with Pope Francis' modern depiction of the church as a field hospital. Gregory's ability to apply the gospel to the everyday lives of his listeners made him an exceptional preacher, and his teachings continued to guide the church long after his death. St. Gregory the Great's life and work echo the wisdom found in Proverbs 3, 5-6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Gregory trusted in God's plan, even when it led him away from the comforts of monastic life and into the challenges of leading the church through one of its most turbulent periods. His willingness to serve wherever he was needed, his tireless efforts to care for his people, and his unwavering commitment to the truth made him a beacon of light in a dark and chaotic world. As an Anglican historian once noted, it is impossible to conceive what would have been the confusion, the lawlessness, the chaotic state of the Middle Ages without the medieval papacy, and of the medieval papacy, the real father is Gregory the Great. Gregory's life teaches us that true greatness is found not in power or prestige, but in humble service and steadfast faith. His legacy continues to inspire Christians to this day, reminding us that in all things, we are called to trust in the Lord and serve Him with all our hearts. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.